As you're watching this picture of Ulysses, I mean, he's just magnificent. He's such a beautiful orca. I wanted to bring you a typical day in the life of these orcas in Tuol San Diego, but I could not. There's been changes in there. And here he comes by and he's really, he's long, he's thick, he's gorgeous, and he doesn't belong in this teeny tiny tank. I don't know to what extent these changes have affected the orcas, but my first clue that something was different, and there goes Yuli on his belly, was actually at underwater viewing, which I don't like to go to. I don't like to see them um, do this and hearing all the ooing and aahing and all of that. Um, but I wanted to do the whole deal. But there's going to be a surprise, and the surprise is going to be Keat. Because Keat doesn't do passes close to the glass. You can get shots of him in his underside, his belly, as he's swimming by, by himself or with another orca. And then he'll go to his corner or go to a spot, and he'll lay on his side and not move for hours. That's what Keat does. He doesn't make appearances and pass by the glass real close. He doesn't. But he did on this day. And that was my first, you know, clue that something was up. And I do think that Keith heard my voice. As far as Yuli goes, I think he knows I care. I think he knows why I'm there. But I don't think Keith likes any person, uh, me, anybody else that's able to make a connection or any trainer. I don't think he ever got over being taken away from his mother. There's Yuli again. Or his pod. And there's only like three orcas that I know of that he is close to. Orchid, he's the closest to. Kalia, he gets along with. And Keith, he, he gets along with and does shows with. And then when I left the Dynewood tank, I saw Corky's dorsal. So I headed up there and a security guard stopped me. I mean, for the first time in decades. Where are you going? Why are you going up there? And I said, I've been going up there for over half a century. I said, I go to talk to the orcas and see who's in there. Well, why? I said, well, that's what I do. I love the orcas here. And I, I just want to see who's in there. Finally, the security guard lets me pass, but then just hides around the corner. I could see the tips of the security guard's shoes and listen to everything I had to say. But then I, you know, Corky and Makani, they try to come to me. They're blown back by a trainer. Then another trainer comes out and then people come out. So um, obviously there's going to be an up close show and I'm going to see it. And I think that's why the security guard stopped me. They didn't want me to see the up close show for free. I mean, oh my God, you know, cause they pay between, I don't know, 120 and $150 a person to see this. I didn't, you know, <laughs> that is not what I was doing there. So, and then the other change was during the show. And here is another pass by Ulysses. You can see him a little bit. And I'll be bringing you all the pictures of when I was at, that I could get it up close. And all the pictures of inside the show and explain all the changes. And when people started saying there was a second orca, they could see a second orca, I was convinced that it was a female, either orchid or Kalia. Never, ever did I think I was going to see Keith swimming by on the bottom. And here he comes. And there's my big sweet boy and you can see his tootsie roll tail and the tips do touch when he is completely stationary it's the water that separates the
the tips from touching when he's swimming through the water or doing a trick. But when he's completely stationary, the tips of his tail touch. That's how curled his tail is. And it's not normal. The collapsed dorsal fins, it's, you know, it rarely, rarely happens in the wild. And I put my hands to the glass, I hit the glass, and I asked Keat to come back by. But I got a pass from both of them in the end. And first you're going to see Ulysses go by one more time. There he is, the big boy. So gorgeous. <laughs> and then, you know, you can't even see how, because the water looks like his, his tail is fine. And then you're going to see he Keat is, Keat is swimming by, and I'm asking him, please, please come back, come, come by the glass. And he does. There he is. And there's my poor boy, Keat. There's his Tootsie Royal tail that's going to come up real soon. And this is February 5th, 2023, SeaWorld San Diego Underwater Viewing. Thank you.